It's an event worthy of a world-class backdrop, the International Fleet Review. You'll see the Royal Australian Navy joined by vessels from 20 nations. Between the 3rd of October and the 11th of October 2013, Sydney Harbour will swell with as many as 40 vessels, marking the centenary of Navy's fleet arriving in Sydney Harbour on the 4th of October 1913. HMAS Parramatta was given the honour of hosting the launch for what will be the Australian Navy's most significant commemorative event in the past 100 years. The Australian Chief of Navy, Vice Admiral Ray Griggs, hosted an impressive list of VIPs, including New South Wales Premier Barry O'Farrell. I'm delighted that uh, the Premier and the Lord Mayor uh, are able to be here in HMAS Parramatta today to launch the International Fleet Review 2013. With a host of special events planned in and around the harbour during IFR week, the review will bring great benefits to Sydney and Australia in general. We are determined to do as much as we can to acknowledge the contribution of the Navy to the development of this state and this city. We recognise your existing value to the state's economy uh, and we're delighted to, re to support this international fleet review. Tall ships from around the world will also gather in Australia to help celebrate the centenary, conducting visits to Australian ports, before gathering in Sydney for a special tall ship regatta to Auckland in New Zealand. With so many foreign ships in town, the REN will have another chance to fly the flag during Exercise Triton Centenary, which will be held prior to and following the IFR off the Australian East Coast.